Welcome to Germany vs. USA and today we want to talk about ice cream. The differences between German and American ice cream. Or, well the thing is we don't have German ice cream right now, but one of the things that I, I discovered two days ago, everybody knows Hagen, Hagen Dash, I, you pronounce it Hagen Dash, right? Hagen Dash. Yeah. yeah. I always thought it was a Danish company. I mean, I was convinced, you know, it was a good old European, um, you know, ice cream. And then I discovered it's actually, it's an American, it's an American company. It's an American company that, you know, they try to make it like a, give it like a Scandinavian, well, like old European traditional well, look. Their original logo back in the day was actually a silhouette of Denmark. Of Denmark, yeah. But I, I mean, think that's a big no-no now. Yeah, it's funny. That it's really good ice cream. Wow, that is great ice cream. Yeah, I, until you know, you told me I was something I mean, European, I, yeah, something I, Danish. I that. A very American ice cream, though, Ben and Jerry's. Mm. Mm. We do have some Ben and, Jer ben and Jerry's in Germany too. Yeah, they're like stands. Y'all mm -hmm. have little Ben and Jerry stands. Right. Um, Cherry Garcia. Oh, it's such a great ice cream. I think the biggest thing about Ben and Jerry's. It's the way they market their ice cream. Like, they have what's called an ice cream graveyard. Mm -hmm. And so after a while, they retire flavors. And they always come up with, like, unique, like, oh. funny names. Mm -hmm. And so people, you know, really when they were in their prime, people were always excited, like, hey, what are you going to think of next? So there's something new, like hey, a new yeah, flavor. Yeah, something new, yeah. That's a good idea. That's a great marketing. And then, okay, let's build up. Then there's the good old Klondike bar, which is like, it's like a classic ice cream, isn't it? Um... I think we have similar stuff in Germany too. You? Yeah, pretty sure. It's well, just they, they used to have the American ads. What would you do for a Klondike bar? And then they'd have people do really stupid things for I mean, a Klondike bar. There's like vanilla ice cream with like chocolate around it. Yeah. Now we're in. really good though. And then we have this little pot here. And um, America! <laughs> <laughs> we don't have that kind of ice cream in Germany. At least not in German, like normal grocery stores. I mean, this is just... How much is that? That's 4.7 liters, almost five liters. What would you do for like a birthday party? Uh, um, I, have, yeah, I don't know. Not to have ice cream? <laughs> I don't know. They, you know this, is, this is called a Neapolitan ice cream, but it's good. I always thought it was Napoleon. Napoleon? Yeah, I always just thought, you know, the chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla mix was called Napoleon. I don't know. I don't know if anyone else would ever say it. Maybe I just always taught wrong but that's what i always heard growing up you know a napoleon that's just so big like the biggest cream. the biggest size ice cream you can get in, like in the oh. german store is like like that big i think what this ice cream is so, it just brings me back to my childhood it's just a it's just so good and it's just like the cheap big party ice cream with like i don't know i just love the vanilla it, it, i mean it tastes okay but it doesn't taste outrageously good or anything oh i think it's awesome it's probably it's, because of your childhood yeah it bring i mean it really brings me back to being like a skate zone and the kids like Blowing spit all over the cake and, you know, the good, the good, the good old days. <laughs> okay, we talked a lot about American ice creams and they're big, they're actually, I think they're, they're pretty good. Germany, if you talk about ice, ice cream, um, ice, you usually think about like Italian places and like every little village, every town has like a few Italian um, ice places. So um, they're called mostly ice Diele or ice cafe. And um, you, you go there and you order like fresh, usually fresh made ice cream. And it's in many, many cases owned by, um, you know, Italian immigrants or... Yeah, is that a stereotype too, like, in Germany where, like, only people own ice cream shops are Italians? A little bit, a little bit, but well, it's, well, it's, it's a stereotype, kind of but true. it's yeah. kind of true there. I mean, most most uh, places are Italian. It's, it's kind of like a cafe kind of thing, you know, like ice cafe. You go there, you can have, you know, you, have to, you can have ice cream in a cone and in a waffle, or you can have, you know, in a bowl, becher, um, uh, or... Hold on, and you can also get, you know, like the, the big thingies, there's like the thing called spaghetti ice, mm -hmm. which is like vanilla ice cream that looks like spaghetti. One of the biggest differences to me was, you know, in a German like ice cafe, was they serve ice cream with, you know, alcohol. Mm -hmm. I've never been to an American ice cream parlor that serves um, any ice cream with alcohol in it. And usually it's a liqueur. Sometimes I think like after eight is that the mm -hmm. mint. Can't have alcohol, yeah, then there's... Yeah. I think some have um, Eierlikör, like um, 
what you call it again? In your eggnog. Head? Eggnog, right? Eggnog with alcohol. You're right. And it's uh, it's you know surprising because uh, I'd order an ice cream, you not read it carefully, mm -hmm. and I'd get one with alcohol in it. But it's very good. Getting an ice cream is really part of the German culture. You know what you what you would do on a Sunday. You know after you had a good lunch or something, you would go out in the afternoon to the ice cream place. At least we did a lot, and you know get an ice cream on a corner, then you know walk around the city or. Just you know, go on a walk. That's like a very, it's a very, it's a very social place. It's often the center of you know the city, like at marketplace and something where where a lot of just people just hang out and you know people watch and do different kind of things. Yeah, it's um, it's a great experience. Um, the one where we were at um, even had you know waiters and waitresses, which is something. Oh yeah, that's very, that's very normal. Yeah, I, I, that's another thing I've never seen in an American ice cream parlor that you would actually have someone come up and wait on you mm -hmm. and you'd have a huge menu of like the different styles of ice cream. That's true, and you usually go to the counter, yeah. say what you want, they give it to you and then you sit down yourself, right? Right. All right, that, yeah, I never even thought about it. That's so true. Hmm. Um, what I love about American ice cream is American ice cream with like chocolate milk cookies, especially if they're like still warm. <laughs> I mean, that's like the, the worst thing you can probably eat, but it is so good. I like, like when you have like the hot, you know, Chip milk chocolate cookie and they have the ice cream that kind of melts on the cookie and soaks it up and oh, it's amazing it's amazingly good i think my favorite ice cream is uh, iced coffee i love an iced coffee mm -hmm. it's so good Just, you have that here too right yeah yeah yeah, yeah but ah, oh, ice coffee like a, my favorite schmeck mir gut schmeck mir sehr gut well we hope you all enjoyed the show on ice cream hopefully you are craving some Mm. I'm about to eat this bucket. Y'all take it easy. Bye. <laughs> Cherry Garcia. Who's that? This is the Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Oh. You can eat it now. I can do whatever I want to. Mmm. Mmm. It tastes good.